As we went into level three lockdown, people were warned not to panic shop. The supermarket and essential service will still be there every day, open for your needs. So let's go now to Kitty Hannafin, who is the spokesperson for Countdown. Hi, Kitty. What's demand been like? Um, no, demand's pretty heavy. It was very heavy on Tuesday night and uh, Wednesday morning. And no, it's actually been very steady, not as bad as um, Tuesday night and Wednesday morning. But we, no, it's solid demand right across New Zealand. And how are people behaving themselves? Um, it's a mixed bag. I, we, we've had a pretty tough day today, actually, right across New Zealand with behaviour in our stores, which is disappointing. Um but, uh, yeah, so it's a, mix, it's a mixed bag. Up and down, we're seeing the best and the worst of people. So when you say some of the behaviour was a bit disappointing, can you give us an example? What are you or staff um, faced with? Um, well, we've had some spitting today and um, lots of verbal, lots of verbal sort of assaults on our team, um, throwing stock. Um, yeah, just, you know, kind of a little bit of what we saw last time, some some pushing and shoving, um, some altercations between customers and the car parks. Um, I, I think stress levels are what, high. What was that over? Really... What was that over, Kitty? Was that about getting in the line or what? I, I don't know, actually. No, I, I don't know. So did you have we to call know. police in at any stores? Yes, we've had police in uh, across New Zealand today, and I have to say, like, incredibly responsive and, um, you know, quick responses, so we're very grateful for that. But you know, but um, you know, I've been into stores in Auckland, and and um, people in Auckland or the stores I've went to today at least are, um, are wearing masks and shopping very calmly. So yeah, we're very grateful for that. Just remind us what limitations are there on certain items. Yes, yeah, so immediately on Wednesday morning, um, as soon as we opened, we put limits in place um, on all of the items that we saw sort of fly off the shelf last time. So um, pasta and rice and long life milk, um, canned canned you know, spaghetti and baked beans and frozen vegetables, um, what our sanitizer, period products. So we've got limits on, on, on those products and on face masks. It's just one box. And that's just so simply there's, and we don't see trolleys of pasta go out the door and it means that people can come and, and get what they need, and that's really worked. So we've got, we've actually got, we haven't had a, a huge amount of, um, you know, empty shelves apart from flour. <laughs> Again, um, so we're, we're happy with how that's worked, and it's really helped our, our, us stabilise our supply chain. So I think we learned a lesson last time, and it's, and we're we're pleased we've done it, and it just means that the stores are nice and controlled. It's good. So, Kitty, you mentioned masks there. So, how mm-hmm. much demand is there for masks now that we're all being asked to, if we can, wear a mask? A lot of demand for masks. Um, over the weekend, actually, um, that we just had before um, it was announced in New Zealand that we had a community um, outbreak, we saw really solid sales of masks. And on Tuesday night and Wednesday, um, I think we must have sold nearly half a million masks, so a lot, a lot of masks. And I guess the good thing about that is actually people are wearing them in our stores. Um, in Auckland, I haven't been around the country, obviously, which I think is good. Our team are wearing them, so it feels, you know, if people are, are doing what's asked of them from the Prime Minister. And I think that's really pleasing to see that people are taking this very seriously and everyone's sort of, you know, working together to do what we can together to collectively sort of nip this in the bud.